Okay, so question number 10 is the last question on the paper. It's quite a big one. It's got five, six marks overall. It says the national curriculum levels in mathematics of 30 students in year 9 were recorded like this. And it asks us to calculate the mean. So we need to do that calculation. We need to multiply these two columns uh, together to get a series of numbers here. So we need to find if we added up all the level 3s, we'd get 0. Well, okay, let's just call this F, and let's call that frequency, and let's call this column X times F. 4 times 4, so the number of the total levels, all the four level students together, four of them, makes 4 times 4 is 16. So the total levels for number for all the level 5 students, there was 4 of those, so 5 times 4, there's a total of level 20 levels for them. 6 times 9 is 54. 7 times 8 is 56, and 8 times 5 is 40. So in order to calculate the mean, we need this total here divided by this total here. So we know this total anyway. It's worth counting up. This total, it says it's 30 students here. So there's 30 students overall, so that's the total number of students. The total number of levels, when you add this up, comes to 186. So to calculate the mean, you've just got to do 186 and you've got to divide it by 30, which means that you get an answer of 6.2. So the average level, the mean level, was 6.2. The way the marks break down is if you've made one of these calculations uh, correctly, it gives you the first mark. If you've added them up and you've used 30, that's the second mark. And if you've done the correct division, you get your third mark. Okay, So this is a very common C grade, or one of the harder topics on this foundation paper. Um, and yeah, and so it's it's a standard method. You've just got to do the same thing. Okay, Look it up in your books or, or replay the video. For part B, it says the 30 students study both French and Spanish, and it's their subject. So if someone's called a level 2 in French, they've got a level 1 in Spanish. A level 4 in French means they've got three of those people who've got level 4 in French got levels 2 in Spanish. Four got 4 in French and 3 in Spanish. One person got 4 in both French and Spanish. What is the medium level for French? Well, we know there's a total of... Oh, it says show clearly how you obtain your answer firstly. The first thing we need to remember is the median means the middle. Okay? So if there's 30 students, the middle is the 15th student, just half of it, the 15th student. So all we've got to do is work out what that 15th student is. Well, there weren't any levels 1s, oh, there, there was only one level 2. We need to count down 15 places or count up 15 places and find out where we end up. So. Let's have a look. So we know to, we want to find the 15th student. They're already in order because the levels are already from 1 to 6 for us. So there's one student here, a total of 1 plus 4. It's 5 students here. 5 plus 8 means a total of 13 students. So the 14th and the 15th student must be in this group here, which must mean they have a level 5. So the middle student is the 15th student. And then if you just say something like, Counting down, the 15th student, and down the 15th student had level 5. So the median for French is the median is level 5. Okay, but it's important you explain what you do. So that working out that there's 30 students and the 15th student you need is the middle person, and then actually doing it and getting it right gets you the second mark. The last bit. Ah, the last bit. I've repeated the, doc, um, the table again so we can use it, but this part B is different. And it now says the teacher claims that the students are better at French than at Spanish. How can you tell this to be true? Well, if we look, there are a total of 16. There's a total for French. There are a total of 16, 25, level 4, 5, 
or six students and actually there's a total of 17 level five or sixes. If we look at Spanish and we look it down there's seven plus four plus one which is eleven there's only twelve level four five or six students so it's almost half or less than half actually and if we just look at the top two levels level five and six in Spanish there's only five level five or six so you can clearly see that when you compare the top levels there's 17 French students who've got the top level and only five Spanish students who've got the top level just one mark for that bit, it's the last question on the paper Okay, anything you need to look at, go back and find the right video and look it up.